hey guys welcome back to my video so as you can see here i am showing you what i've done so far with the sign plates if you have been watching my video you would have known this is what i've been doing here you can just see me prepping to start grinding the plate um yeah i really like this grinding plate. um but basically yeah this is my last one that i'm going to be grinding until i have to um Start with spray painting them. Sorry guys. That's what it is. Ugh. But yeah. Now I will you head over to something else. Um, so our the title of our business is Street Essence. It is a clothing and uh, jewelry business. And um, it's a duo business. So our um, our slogan is everybody is unique. Because like we're trying to make people more confident with this business. And my name is Marquez Blair. And I'm Naya. Um, so our problem is that many, like, a lot of people struggle with confidence nowadays, and since our target is more teenagers, we know, like, teenagers in our grade and in our school and stuff, they struggle with confidence, so we want to make them feel better with clothing and with jewelry, which is also affordable, because a lot of clothing and jewelry is expensive nowadays, so we want to give them, like, an uplifting spirit and stuff, because they'll have more affordable stuff, and yeah. And our value proposition, like I said, it would help teenagers feel better about themselves because they're going to have on, they'll be able to feel comfortable in the clothing that they're wearing. And um, we'll also make custom, customized customizations. So like on our website, you'll be able to customize it however you want. And we'll have different customizations. We'll also have selective items that is with our branding on it if you don't want to customize it. And, yeah. Um, so our customer segment, like, I, like we said before, our target audience are mostly teenagers and are like 14 to maybe like 19. And then we found that 68% of teenagers rather shop online and that's good because as of right now, we're more of an online business rather than an in-store or in-person business. So that's pretty good. And then we also found that 22% spent their income on like clothing and just other like jewelry and accessories and that's pretty good because that's basically what our brand is based off of and I think that would be like a good way for our business to thrive just based off of the research that we found. <laughs> so I um, really liked that when you started your intro you were confident you went straight to kind of your target market kind of solution problem there um, that it's for teenagers it's affordable you're wanting or the, the confidence piece you spoke to but you also seem confident of your product which was nice um, really with this you know this guide here or your guide you're given is kind of your your goal to to make sure that you meet all the steps so really it's just adding a little bit more um, as you go through it, but you hit really a lot of the good pieces. You you hit your value proposition. You spoke about um, the multiple pers perspectives. Um, again, underlying magic you could add a little bit to. It doesn't have to be a separate slide, but kind of just how you keep talking about how you're trying to gear towards this, the teenagers, just kind of trying to again related to your experience a little bit more um, i also thought your presentation was very good very confident i totally understood your business like i got it it was very clear i appreciated that very much and it was easy for me to go through and understand these are the things that you're talking about the problem opportunity the value proposition i really like that your business is not just clothing and not just jewelry but clothing and jewelry because that sort of makes it like a one-stop shop right because that's what we're looking for i mean i know that's what i'm looking um, maybe accessories. So, but I like that you have a combo there. Um, I really like your statistics, that you incorporate statistics all the way through. But that also was a great thing for me. It's easy as a judge now for me to mark off that you've done research, because I can see that you've done research by these statistics. I really like Ms. Johnson's idea of the pictographs, you know, with your statistics in there. I think that's really great. I also really like your slides. Something that someone from marketing once told me about my slides 
that I liked was that I shouldn't be afraid to mix up my fonts on a slide. So like if I wanted to change that last one, 95% of you use social media, I could make that a totally different font. I could make it italic as well. I think you guys did a really good job of identifying a clear problem. I think there's some opportunity to clarify the solution. I get that it's a clothing and jewelry company, but I still don't understand how you're going to design your product or what the brand identity is in terms of the personality or the flavor of it that's going to address that sort of confidence issue for teenagers um, in a way that's maybe unique or sets it apart from other brands. So I think that that's a communication piece that needs a little bit of clarification. I think, Niall, there were points in the presentation where I had a little bit of a hard time understanding you, where you just need to speak up and project a little bit more. Um, the other thing I was going to say, so with your marketing plan, I think it's probably true that 95% of social media or teenagers are on social media, but they're probably not spending an equal amount of time on all of those different social media platforms. So I think you guys need to think about, you know, who are the, you know, think about uh, with your brand identity for your company and then